Hello everyone, welcome to EG Makeup Artist and if you are new, welcome, a really warm welcome and if you've been here for so long, thank you for passing by and uh, yeah, I'm gonna start off with my hair I wanna show you guys something I've done which is quite uh, handy when you don't wanna do too much with your hair I'm right now losing my hair, my twist and I'm just gonna finger comb it through so when it comes to restyling my hair I can never never ever miss this this is water and oil I can never miss this this what it does is to help my hair to to be to make it easy to comb it through Okay, I'm gonna be using this um, Flare Protein Styling Gel. This is by Kera Care. I'm going to grab a little bit in the palms of my hands. And what I'm gonna do is just to put it around my edges. And I'm gonna be using this brush and just to comb through again. So I'm gonna grab this elastic band slash tight because I cut my tights, you know, they are flexible and they are much comfortable for me. What I'm going to do is to do my makeup and then I'm going to show you uh, what I'm going to be doing with my hair. And I'm going to prime my brows. This is the Define and Conceal by Makeup Revolution in C12. And quickly I'm gonna set with my Sasha buttercup so uh, for this tutorial I'm gonna be using this I love surprise egg, uh, dragon egg by uh, makeup revolution and uh, I don't remember the name of this oh yeah it's mermaid sorry this is mermaid if I am not wrong I'm gonna try to create a halo there's no color here for me to use as a transition I'm gonna take this uh, the nude by the bomb this is dude by uh, the bomb I'm firstly gonna grab this color here which is called uh, fiesty and I'm going to pack this color on my transition area Fair enough, we are all set, but I want to see if I can give it a teeny weeny darker shade. Although it's okay, but just a teeny weeny. And for that, I'm going to be using TG. When it comes to eyeshadows really pigmented, I like to, I, I don't tab it, I don't do this, but when I want to, because I want to use like the most of the product. What I do is just to pop, tap on here and then I go where I want to place it and I tap 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 and then I do circular motions just to spread the color and then after I have what I want or how I want it in the area I want it then I go and I move forward just to create shadow Exactly. So I go in the eyeshadow 
top, top, top three, four times. It's really pigmented, so I don't like or I don't use to do this tap 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 because I remove the product and because I want to concentrate this dark shade in my outer V this is what I do I tap 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 and when I'm pleased about the amount of color I want in this precise area then I do circular motions in the same area but moving around And then when I'm happy with what I have achieved, I move inward. Okay. <clears throat> I'm quite happy. No. I'm gonna be using this blue color here. This is a blue blue C sea blue okay so I'm gonna add this color and I'm going to create a halo I'm starting off the external V I'm packing this color here I'm packing the color kind of in a V shape that's what I do okay I'm quite happy and because I get lost when I do one eye first, I'm going to go and do this one and um, the outer V and I'm coming back again to this one. So you guys can see that with the same brush, I'm trying to blend the brown with the blue. Okay, now I'm going to do the inner side. So, if you have big eye, like big shape, your uh, eye shape is large, you have space to play around with eyeshadows. That's what I want to say. So, I'm using the same blue, but for some reason, the inner side looks lighter i believe because i this one here is got mixed with the brown but anyways i'm using the same one i'm using this one here that's the one i'm using so the blue is going a little bit too up more than what i wanted i'm gonna i'm taking the brown and you know trying to bring this color a bit down So now I'm going to use uh, these turquoise here, this turquoise, and I'm going to grab, of course, another brush. Okay, I'm not used to Halo, but you know, I will be doing from time to time now. So, I want to uh, bring up more uh, light into this uh, turquoise. So, the trick I do is apply Fix Plus. Whenever you apply Fix Plus on your shimmer colors, they revive them. They give them life. So, what I firstly do is to apply the product in the brush, of course, and then spray. I'm, I, I have zoomed so you guys can see. I hope you guys can see because I can see from the mirror and it brings the color like back to life. It gives it shine and glow and it's so gorgeous. And I'm gonna be mixing these two colors so there's not harsh line over there. So I don't know if you can see the difference between this eye and this eye, but I do. So I'm going to go again with the same process. So 
Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit more of the blue color and I'm going to apply it on my outer V. And then I'm grabbing the color, the brush I've used to apply the brown color. And I'm going to blend. And I wanted, I wanted to have that shininess, that uh, vivid color. So I did spray it and I'm going in. So I'm going to grab this, uh, no, this blue here and I'm going to place this underneath my waterline. Pretty much happy. I'm gonna be using this is a big eyes liner by Maybelline New York. So I have my lashes on, my look is done, and I'm going to do my face out of camera and now be back in a second so I want to say something quick I really believe that when you do such a, a bright color on your eyes I really think like the contour game has to be like ba ba boom like ba ba boom ba ba boom call it what you want So that was it. I will be back in a sec. So here we are. So I cannot leave without juicy lips. I cannot. Okay, now for my hair, what I'm going to do is to uh, tie this hairband something like this. Oh, and now I'm gonna show you my lady queen, lady well, lady girl, lady D, lady me, lady you, and lady who. I believe you have seen this done so many times on the internet so um, if you would like to know how I do mine just let me know in the comment section below and I will upload a video so this is my ponytail let me show you guys this is my ponytail and obviously it has this thingy here yep and of course my own my main ponytail is gonna go there and what you want to do let me show you guys so while it's there you want to secure it with bobby pins the way I pin my hair is I put it here and I do this This is to be like really secure. You want to do this around the bun, okay? Oh, well, okay, I call this a donut. Okay, let's call it a donut. But what I do, because you can see it here is a bit uh, lift up. So what I do is to press it down. And voila. And obviously you do the same all over your hair. 
this is so handy like when you don't want to do too much with your hair and you want to leave it like loose not loose but you don't want to have any um, wig on or anything that will cover your entire hair this is so handy you want to puff up this here so your hair in the middle doesn't show and for if you want to be like if you want to have it like more secure I will go me personally I do this as I'm telling you I will go maybe with only one bobby pin but I will you know my hand and grab this and I pin it down there you go so it's not gonna move and the rest this ponytail is old so this hairs here flying out just gonna cut them off chop them off so we have the flawlessness of the hair and uh, yeah you can either leave it like this but me personally I don't what I like to go is to you know play around with it like have some nice design on yourself I bobby pin okay because we want to secure this the wind girl the wind does not play with nobody I open the bobby pin like this so you can grab much hair as you can and uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And beside, uh, beside. <laughs> behind, you can leave it like this. It's up to you, girl. It's up to you. You can leave it like this. So you have some fallouts, you know, or you can grab it. You can, you know, you know, whatever. I will just leave it like that. So I see that this is a bit too long, so I'm not gonna leave it like that. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. Um, it's kind of like a halo. It's a halo, so kind of like a. It's a halo, but I did it my way. You guys can see. I did it my way, and uh, yeah. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys liked the creation of this look. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to see you next time on my next video. And I'm gonna leave some links here, some videos here so you guys can check. And uh, yeah, continue to watch how I improve with your help. Leave your comment down below. Tell me what I've done that you like or you do, you, what I've done that you don't like and What would you change about this look like what? What would you change about this look? Okay Until then see you next time Bye